As far as Washington's serial killers go, Jack Bird is not a household name. But he may have been Tacoma's first. Jack secured a spot in city lore when he placed a hex on those present at his sentencing. In a 20-minute impassioned speech, Jack told the crowd in the courtroom, all you guys who had anything to do with this case are going to die before I do. <laughs> Prosecutors considered him shrewd, wily, and cunning. Jack earned a reputation as a jailhouse lawyer, successfully winning stays to his execution by professing to killing 44 people in seven states in over two decades. His crimes were brutal. News reports said he left an almost incredible story of bloodshed. Police arrested Jack in Tacoma on October 30th, 1947. He was captured on foot with a knife in one hand, attempting to flee the murder scene. Jack had just killed Bertha Clud and her teenage daughter Beverly during what he thought would be an easy burglary. His weapon of choice, an ax he grabbed from the victim's shed. Screams were heard from the Clud's house on the 1000 block of South 21st Street. Alarmed neighbors called police. They arrived to find the two women bludgeoned to death in a room on the first floor of a two-story craftsman, the widow suffocating after the ax severed her windpipe. The grisly scene unnerved the police officers who responded. One of them later testified that he beat the killer with his fists in a police glove while taking him to Tacoma General Hospital. After more than a year of delays, Jack was executed by hanging at the Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla on July 15, 1949.